this is Shelley Burkholz. Welcome to Fiberscapes. On this channel you will see my work in progress on landscape pieces made with yarn and glue on wood panel. This is the last video in this series where I complete my art piece called Wildness Blooms. I'll tell you a bit more about this work, its inspiration, challenges and how I plan to finish. By the end of the video you will see the completed landscape. This artwork is inspired by the view of the St. Lawrence River from the town of Kamaraska in Quebec, Canada. Its well-appreciated beauty comes from its fairly rugged, unmanicured landscape. The wild roses are abundant all over the shoreline, and in places they mix with the tall marsh grasses at the edge of the floodplain. I put in this dark ridge here. I think it balances out the piece a bit. There are lots of things to look at on the left of the composition, but on the right here the cloud, the pool, and the dark ridge balance things somewhat. The top portion came out quickly and easily, with minimal backtracking. I do backtrack, or correct as I go, as much as possible. It's easy to remove strands when glue is wet. When it's dry, however, a chisel is needed to remove them. I do resort to this when necessary, but I've learned to make these fixes as minimally as I can. If I notice that an area isn't working, I'll try to remove it as soon as possible. Before I started with yarn, I used to use paint. With that medium, I could build up the whole composition together. The surface would be covered, but I would still be able to build upon it as the overall picture became known. I could see how some areas related to others and adjust things. With yarn, I do a small section at a time to completion without knowing what the overall picture will look like. I'm not complaining, just explaining that I understand that corrections will be needed and I'm not hard on myself for having to make them. As I said, the upper portion, including the sky, landforms, and upper portion of water, went in really quickly with little removal. I'm happy with the sky for the mood it captures. We all pay attention to the sky, don't we? It tells us what to expect in the day and affects our moods. We're sensitive to its changes. For these reasons, to me, the sky is a really important piece of depicting a landscape. After putting in the background, I started on the roses. I had to make sure that I could do roses because I had never made very specific foliage and yarn before. Previous to this, my greenery was less defined. I put in the roses and then the rosebuds, which I quite enjoyed. So then I had this top portion and this bottom portion, but to get from one to the other within such a short space kind of confused me. I wasn't sure what to do. My first attempt was a large section of brown, which I took out. Then I added this darker grassy area in the bottom corner and it seemed to work. At that point I realized, okay, maybe the whole piece is darker. Now I know why I felt conflicted about adding more light to the rosebush on the left. I fought with myself to add lighter areas, but it just wasn't the right thing. Overall, I think it's coming together finally, and I wasn't sure it would. The reason it's happening now is that I've tackled some of this middle ground. That's when I had to move to the easel because I couldn't easily access that section of the board, which is three feet tall. From this point, I will continue with these strands. I don't know that they will look separate from the rose bush and be red as grasses, but it doesn't really matter. I just want that form to be a little bit separate when you come close enough to see. Otherwise from a distance they can blend together. Working flat allows better camera angles and lighting, but poses other difficulties. 
Sometimes she's a bit too interested and I have to move her so she doesn't get covered in glue. I would really love to hear what you think of my content so far. Drop me a comment if you like. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe. I so appreciate your support. Here is the finished piece, Wildness Blooms. It was such a lot of fun to make. I learned a lot too. Thank you so much for joining in the journey of this project. I look forward to showing you my next one, A Vibrant Sunset. Thank you so much for watching.